City Council members and other elected officials are calling for action on Rikers Island, describing the situation there as a humanitarian crisis. News 12's Cecilia Law joins us now with more on what they're demanding. Yeah, Christy, in the city council meeting this morning, elected officials along with uh, correctional professionals voiced their concerns about what they are calling deplorable conditions in the jail complex. Some of the mentioned conditions include inmates lack of access to medical care, overcrowded intake areas, and unsafe working environments for uniform staff. This comes just a week after a 10th inmate died in custody at Rikers this year. Out of those 10 deaths, officials say at least five were suicide. Now this is an alarming number as the Board of Corrections indicated that in the year 2018, 19, and 20, there were no reported suicides. Let's be clear, this is a human rights crisis. No one should be treated this way. The city has failed every single person who's detained and works on Rikers Island. And let's remember that most of the folks who are there have not even been found guilty of something. Even if they had, they shouldn't be treated this way. I will remind again that both communities on either side of those bars are primarily black and brown. The corrections are and the people who are housed there. I will again say, if that were different on either side, I don't think we would have been here. City Council is calling on city and state leaders to immediately reduce the population at Rikers by releasing people held for low-level crimes and those who are at high risk for COVID and for the Department of Corrections to provide necessary services for inmates and for uniformed officers to show up to work so that others aren't forced to work double or triple shifts. These long stays can cause frustration, which can in turn lead to violence on behalf of those whose cases feel interminably unresolved. Moving those cases forward will be of great help as part of our efforts to quell violence and improve conditions. Now this comes just a day after Mayor de Blasio implemented a emergency order uh, called the Five Point Rikers Relief Plan. It calls for measures to uh, reduce the act of Rikers and City Council is also calling on City Council and the mayor is also calling on the governor to sign the Less is More Act, which restricts the incarceration of people on non-criminal technical parole violations, therefore reducing the number on, of people on Rikers Island. Christy. All right, big update that we've been following all week.